I'm Jessica Dahlquart for CNET, and this is the Nokia Lumia 920, or as I like to call it, the Incredible Hulk. This is a Windows Phone running the new Windows Phone 8 operating system, and I just want to start by talking about the physical body and design, because when you pick it up in real life, that is the first thing on your mind. It looks a lot like the original Nokia Lumia 900. It's got sort of bezel here and a very black screen and uh, buttons on the side, volume, power, and camera button. It's also really stylized and sculpted with a flat top and bottom, rounded sides. One difference here is that the back is also curvier, so it's actually a lot more comfortable to hold. Uh, the original Lumia 900 felt really flat, so there was this empty space, but this kind of curves and contours to your hand. Uh, the flip side of that is that it also looks really thick and bulky. It's a very heavy device, 6.5 ounces, significantly heavier than the original Lumia and a lot heavier than other phones on the market. So when you pick this up, you know you're picking it up. You can't comfortably put it in your pocket. I carry a lot of phones in my back pocket, but this one always felt thick and bulgy and very uncomfortable. On the plus side, it is a nice looking device and one that Nokia obviously put a lot of care into. It's got this 4.5 inch HD display. Nokia is calling it the Pure Motion Plus display. Uh, unlike the original Lumia, this one uses LCD technology and it's supposed to adjust in bright sunlight. If you've got the screen set to high sensitivity, you can unlock it and operate it using your fingernail or even a pair of gloves. Now the version I have here is the white color. It also comes in black, cyan, bright yellow, and red. This one is very glossy. In fact, it's really slippery in the hand, and I had a, kind of a hard time picking it up from a desk and, and gripping it. But the black and cyan version should come with a matte finish, so that should be a little bit more grippable. AT&T is going to have the exclusive on this phone. It does come with 4G LTE, of course. It also comes with a 1.5 GHz dual-core Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 processor, which is nice and fast, and it's got 32GB of onboard storage. On the front, there's one megapixel camera. On the back, there's an 8.7 megapixel camera that uses Carl Zeiss Optics and Nokia's PureView algorithm. I did find that low light pictures were pretty good just using the automatic settings and other pictures were also good. There were some hit and some miss. Um, I, I would say it's a good camera, but it isn't necessarily hands down the best, maybe not the way that Nokia would like. Now Nokia has added some specialized apps on here to help differentiate this product from all the other Windows phones. There's Nokia City Lens, which is an augmented reality app. There's Nokia Drive, it's in beta, and that supplies turn-by-turn -turn voice directions that is not native to Windows Phone. Uh, there's also Nokia Maps and Nokia Music, which kind of has a Pandora-like feature for music mixing. You can also download some of those playlists for offline listening so that when you don't have any data, it's cached and you can listen to your songs. And there's one other differentiator as well, wireless charging using the Qi charging standard. So this is already built into the phone's back panel. And you're, you'll be able to set the phone down on any compatible Qi wireless charging ports and charge your phone without having to plug a cord directly into your handset. Overall, when you look at the specs, the Nokia Lumia 920 has a lot of really good ones. It's got this beautiful screen, it's got a lot of the high-end features on here, and wireless charging definitely adds something different. So does the Nokia turn-by-turn -turn directions. However, what I think is going to turn people away most is going to be the weight of it. Um, so the heft and also the dimensions. It is pretty big and it is pretty bulky. So people who want a thinner phone, this is not the one for you. If that doesn't scare you, you like Windows Phone 8, and you love the idea of all the other things that Nokia brings to the table, then I think this is going to be a good fit. I'm Jessica Zalcourt for CNET. This has been the Nokia Lumia 920 for AT&T.